Hi everybody, Jorge Rivera here with the People's Resource Center and your Tentative Tuesday. Thank you so very much for watching and thank you for joining us. Uh, as always, uh, let's get started with some grounding today. Uh, let's just do a little bit of stretching, if you will. We can just, just stretch all the way up into the sky and even bring down that energy into our bodies, just collecting it and having it flow all the way through us. Let's just gather the energy, stretching really long and tall, and then just bringing it down into our bodies and into our being, having it relax, feeling grounded. And then one more with a deep breath, and let it shower. All right, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's get to your Tentative Tuesday. All right, so this week's Tenant Tip has to do with leases, uh, something that we're all having to do, especially when we're out there searching for a new apartment or a new place to live. So let's talk about a few tips that you should know when you're actually renting a new apartment or actually signing a new lease or a contract. Uh, so tip number one, a fixed term lease has a lot more protections than a regular month to month lease. So when you're first renting an apartment and you want that additional protection, try to negotiate for a fixed term lease. A very standard period of time is one year, but you can negotiate for six months or you can negotiate for more than a year, like two or three years so that you can rest assured that you're going to be secured in that housing for that amount of time. The other protection that it offers you in a fixed term lease versus a month to month is that your rent cannot be increased unless it's stated in the lease. So if you're signing a fixed term lease, make sure that it's going to stay constant for that amount of time. And if it's for longer than a year, you might be able to even negotiate a small increase to be able to show good faith to the owner or the management company when you're negotiating for that lease agreement. So again, fixed term lease has a lot more protections than a month to month lease, especially when it comes to evictions. On a fixed term lease, you can't be evicted unless you're violating a term of the lease agreement. Uh, but other than that, they can't raise your rent unless it's stated in the lease and they can't evict you for any reason other than you violating something in the lease or doing something uh, illegal. Uh, so remember, fixed term lease better than month to month. And another point that you should remember is that everything on a lease is negotiable. A lease is a contract and a contract is just an agreement between two parties. And every time you rent a place, you're always given a pre-written lease contract in order for you to review and sign. They might have added some additional information, but you are not required to just sign the very first copy that is submitted to you. You have the opportunity to negotiate any, other, any of those terms on that lease and things that you may want to change or things that you may want to add. Remember, everything is negotiable on a lease. So negotiate away into something that it's your best interest. And another thing that you should know, if English is not your primary speaking language, you have the right to request the lease contract in your preferred language. Not a lot of people know this and not a lot of people do, but especially for uh, those folks where English is a second language and they understand better in their primary language, you have the right to request the lease in your preferred language. So another good point to know about leases. And let's say you're already in the lease and you misplaced your lease contract and you don't know where to find it. You have the right to request a copy of your lease agreement one time per year. So every year you have the right to request a copy of your lease agreement. And when you request a copy, we always recommend that you do this in writing and that you send it via certified mail and they are required to provide you a copy of your lease within 15 days of you requesting it. And then when you do request it, you can also request any additional copies of other signed documents that you must have signed throughout your tenancy in the apartment. Okay, so remember, request a copy. If you don't have one, it's always good to have one on file. And the very last point of this week's tenant tip is 
you want to make sure that if you are in a fixed term lease, whether or not that lease is going to automatically convert to a month to month lease. There's usually a clause in the lease contract that states that this is what's going to happen because if it does not state that it does automatically convert to a month to month lease, then it is expected that you as the tenant will be out of the unit at the end of the lease term. And if it's a fixed term lease, like for one year, for example, and it doesn't automatically convert, then the property owner or management company is not required to issue you a notice to vacate or to notify you that you're supposed to be vacating the, the, the apartment or the unit. It is just your knowledge. You're supposed to know that at the end of the lease term that you're supposed to vacate the premises if it does not automatically convert to month to month or you did not negotiate a brand new lease contract. So those are your tips on leases for this week. Remember, share this video out with other renters that you might know. Uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notifications of all new videos that we post. And we just want to remind you that we are better together, we are stronger together, so please share this out. Get the information out there. Let's get more tenants educated on what their rights are and giving them all these helpful tips. And again, remember, this is the People's Resource Center with your Tenant Tip Tuesday. I'm Jorge Rivera. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.